Hey, it's Will Ripley with Jamplay.com. I want to show you some must-know chord strumming patterns. Okay, so, I mean, maybe you know this already, but a lot of songs use the same chords. Now, often what differentiates these songs to, like, actually make them sound different from one another is the rhythm, right? And a lot of that comes down to the right hand. So the first one I want to show you is all over all kinds of styles of music. Everything from folk to Guns N' Roses. So let's grab a G chord here for a second and put it to work. All right. So we got our G chord sounding all nice and clean and clear. And what I want you to do is copy my strumming pattern. So we're going to do this one, which is down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. So I just played the same thing twice there. But if you just break it down into one little block, it sounds like this. Okay, so you can imagine, like when, when you hear that strumming pattern, it just sounds super classic. Like I'll just switch some chords here. All right, so pretty classic sounding. So this is definitely a must know strumming pattern. So we got down, down, up, up, down, up. So two downs, two ups, and then a quick down up on the end which will sound like this. Down, down, up, up, down, up. Okay? And with the G chord, we can really just, you know, strum all six strings, basically, whether we're going in a downwards or upwards motion. Now, let's just grab a D chord and try the same thing. So now we have a little bit more of a narrow space where we can strum because we don't really want to hit the E string or the A string, right? So what that would sound like is this. Down, down, up, up, down, up. So definitely I'm just floating, I'm just using my wrist. So let's just grab a G major chord and a C add 9 chord and let's just try practicing back and forth and try this folk strumming pattern. Here we go. So we'll go like down, down, up, up, down, up, one, two, three, go. Down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, switch, down, down, up. Switch. What I'm doing is I'm doing the secret to changing chords, which is the upstroke. So which is the last strum on this particular strumming pattern. So it's down, down, up, up, down, up. All right. So on that upstroke, I'm flying my fingers off and getting that split second that I need to switch to the next one. But the whole thing is, and the most important thing about this lesson, is that we're incorporating this new strumming pattern. Okay? So let's just try that one more time. One, two, ready, go. Down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, switch, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, switch, down. Switch down, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, switch. Okay, so that's a super important one to know. So I'm certain that will help you a lot.